welcome to digital communication playlist here in this session i'll be going to explain basic block diagram of digital communication system so when you work out with digital communication system what will be the block diagram at transmitter side and receiver side so that i'll explain in detail with each and every blocks so see let us begin this session with transmitter block diagram so if you see transmitter block diagram first block that is information source and input transducer so when you talk about information source so at that time there could be multiple types of information which is available that is audio video image or a discrete data so discrete data that might be a case which is there with computer output so this type of information that may be there so those information may be analog may be digital and if you don't have information in electrical signal the non electrical signal that we need to convert it into electrical signal so audio that is what non electrical signal so that we need to translate into electrical signal uh, at information and input transducer block diagram so in this block we have information in terms of audio video image or discrete data and if you don't have electrical signal then you need to translate that into electrical signal by using transducer so this is what about this first block that is information source and input transducer so here if you observe the signal so here this signal may be analog signal or digital signal and one can say here the signal that will be electrical signal so after this block you will be finding there will be analog or digital signal and that will be electrical signal after this first block now second is source encoding now first of all let us try to understand what is source encoding and why do we use it so see basically the basic task of source encoding is to reduce redundancy so whatever redundancy that is there in electrical signal that we need to reduce by using source encoding it is been utilized to use bandwidth effectively so source encoding that is having major goal that is to use bandwidth effectively and in digital data we can go for data compression you will be finding in source encoding there are multiple types like for digital data compression there is hafman coding and shannon fedo coding that is what we are utilizing in source encoding and for analog redundancy we go for adaptive delta modulation we go for delta modulation so for analog we go for adaptive delta delta modulation pulse code modulation pcm so these are the different techniques that we use in source encoding so ultimately basic task of source encoding is to reduce redundancy it is been utilized to have bandwidth utilization effectively and one another task that we do which is data compression for analog signal we have adaptive delta modulation delta modulation this kind of techniques or pulse code modulation pcm for digital data compression we can have hafman coding shannon fano coding so see in source encoding there are two types of input signal analog or digital in case of analog input signal you can have adaptive delta delta modulation or pulse code modulation and for digital there are data compression techniques that we do so ultimately output of this source encoding that will be digital signal this will be digital output right digital signal that will be at output and you will be finding like there are multiple techniques which is what we use for digital signal like data compression so i am mentioning it here 
फोर डिजिटल सिग्नल वी गो फॉर डेटा कंप्रेशन एंड फॉर एनालॉग फॉर एनालॉग सिग्नल वी यूज एडेप्टिव डेल्टा मॉड्यूलेशन डेल्टा मॉड्यूलेशन और पल्स कोड मॉड्यूलेशन सो दिस इज वॉट वी डू इट एट सोर्स एनकोडिंग नाउ सी नेक्स्ट इज चैनल एनकोडिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाई डू वी यूज चैनल एनकोडिंग सो इट इज यूज टू प्रोवाइड नॉइस इम्यूनिटी एंड दैट इज वॉट वी कैन हैव इट बाय एडिंग सम रिडंडी सो अल्टीमेटली चैनल एनकोडिंग दैट इज बीन यूज टू प्रोवाइड नॉइस इम्यूनिटी टू द सिस्टम सो टू प्रोवाइड नॉइस इम्यूनिटी वी एड सम रिडंडी एंड देर आर सम टेक्निक्स दैट वी यूज लाइक ब्लॉक कोड साइक्लिक कोड और कन्वर्लेशन कोड एंड देर आर सो मेनी अदर टेक्निक्स दैट वी डू इट टू प्रोवाइड नॉइस इम्यूनिटी टू द सिस्टम सो अल्टीमेटली चैनल एनकोडिंग दैट इज बीन प्रोवाइडिंग नॉइस इम्यूनिटी टू द सिस्टम एंड बाय एडिंग रिडंडी वी कैन डू दैट सो अल्टीमेटली चैनल एनकोडिंग दैट इज वॉट प्रोवाइडिंग नॉइस इम्यूनिटी राइट and here even you will be finding signal is digital signal here even you will be finding signal is digital signal now then after there is digital modulator so what is the task of digital modulator so one can see here this digital modulator that is having two inputs one is channel encoded output that is digital output that is what we are multiplying it with carrier high frequency carrier signal so that we can send it by antenna so to send signal at longer distance we need to translate low frequency digital signal into high frequency analog signal and that is what we can have it by using digital modulator so it converts electrical digital signal into high frequency modulated signal and there are various techniques like ask amplitude shift king frequency shift king phase shift king quadrature phase shift king so these are the methods by which we can have this digital electrical signal into high frequency modulated signal and that is what we can give it to antenna so this is what about transmitter block diagram now before i go for further explanation see what will be the output of different blocks let us try to understand that see the output of source encoding that is even called as source code so output of source encoding that is even referred as source code right and that will be information let us say that information is 0101 right so in channel encoding we provide noise immunity right so to provide noise immunity we add redundancy with that so here you will be finding channel code so output of channel coding that will be channel code and in that we add redundancy so you will be finding some redundancy that we are adding let us say 011 and this is what our information so this is our information and this is redundancy so that is what we are adding it with information so that we can provide noise immunity to the system and in digital modulator now there will be em wave that is what we are sending it by antenna so that em wave that we will be receiving over here now digital demodulator that is what doing exactly opposite task of digital modulator so after having this digital demodulation you will be having channel code so that will be almost similar to this there may be some error so now you will be receiving received code word i am writing exactly that which is what we are sending right so this is what code word which we receive now if i say there is error in one bit like see this is what one 
but instead of this one if i say i have received zero so there is error so that error that will get corrected by channel decoding and over here you will be having only information and we will be removing redundancy so this block will give you information after having a correction so here you will be having information in terms of digital data so you will be finding that will be like which we have sent 0101 so here you will be receiving 0101 so this will be correcting error and then there will be source decoding so that is what exactly converting this digital data into analog data and here whatever analog signal is there that we give it to output transducer so that we can have information so that information could be audio video or text signal or digital digitally discretized signal like computer data so all those things that we can have after having output transducer so this is what about basic block diagram of digital communication system so one should understand these are the things that we do in digital communication system and i i will be explaining all those things in detail for each and everything in this complete digital communication playlist so you'll be finding whatever things that i have mentioned here so all those things with mathematics derivation and understanding that you will be finding in my digital communication playlist so i hope that you will be studying it and this will be helping you in future thank you so much for watching this video